Hi guys, today I want to discuss on how to do crack propagation in 3 dimensional crystal lattice. So I have been receiving lot of questions on this. So how do I do uh, 3 dimensional crystal lattice. So I have made uh, this video so that I can answer this question. So what I did was I created, I deleted few atoms and I have created a region where the crack can propagate from. And later when I made the movie, it actually helped to create a proper crack propagation in the crystal lattice. So let's see how to do this. So first of all, many people have these questions on molecular statics and molecular dynamics. So molecular statics, you do just the minimization command. So you use conjugate gradient method and molecular dynamics, you use NVE, NE, NPT, NVT ensembles and you use the run command to run your thermodynamic steps or your molecular simulation. So don't mix molecular statics and molecular dynamics. So what does that mean? So let's say if you are giving a velocity to the particles like a particular temperature velocity, temperature which is greater than 0 Kelvin, let's say you give 298 Kelvin or 300 Kelvin and then you use the minimization command which is uh, 0 Kelvin. So th then you are doing mistake. So you should not mix those two. If you are doing uh, in my crack propagation, I am using NVE ensemble, so I am doing molecular dynamics. So I didn't use minimization command anywhere. So and also if you are doing uh, molecular statics uh, or molecular dynamics, if you are doing molecular dynamics, let's say 300 Kelvin, you have to calculate the lattice parameter 300 Kelvin and use that lattice parameter and I have given the method to do in one of my videos, that link for the calculation of lattice parameter temperature greater than 0 Kelvin will be provided. So molecular statics is 0 Kelvin simulation and you use minimization command to do simulation. And molecular dynamics you give some velocity like at a particular temperature say 300 Kelvin. You give some velocity to particles and you use the ensembles all the four kind of ensembles and then you use the run command to do the simulation. Okay. So let's see what I did to do crack propagation in 3D. So I have used these commands. So this is FCC which has 3.52. This is nickel system. And I these are the unit cells in each direction that I have used. So X direction 40 unit cell, Y direction 30 and Z direction 5. Later I have defined the regions uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see that these regions actually represent the middle, upper, lower uh, boundary. So, so these are the, this is used to define these regions. So this is given in the LAMPS code that I did. Now what I did another additional thing is I have defined a region. So in this region, uh, this is from 0 to 10. So in the x direction, so in this is the x direction and the y direction is into the screen you are seeing, the laptop or the desktop screen you are seeing. So in that, uh, that's the x direction and the y direction I have taken only from here to here. So from 52 to 56 I have deleted only like two plane of atoms. So I do the deletion. So at the center of the y direction, so I did the deletion of atoms here. Later, uh, now the another thing people have doubt is how to use this velocity command. So it's very simple. So the upper is given some certain velocity so that this will cause the stress or the strain. So you are applying strain by moving these upper atoms and the stress is automatically created here. So the crack propagates. So you give velocity to upper atom say 0.3 and then you slowly ramp up. So these all these three. So you can see left upper left lower and the red atoms. All these three are the mobile atoms. So you ramp up the mobile atom velocity slowly from 0 to 0.3. So I have given the y. So from 7.04 to 98.56. 
so the velocity is slowly ramped up from 0 to 0.3 so that is how you do it now I run the simulation so if you run the simulation you see that I have deleted like 60 atoms here now it goes on the relaxation process goes on so the all these commands are very simple to understand so this I have deleted 60 atoms so this helps me to do the crack propagation and here I am running uh, until 10,000 thermodynamic steps uh, so you see that the thermodynamic steps uh, it's very important for you to determine how many thermodynamic steps you need to run so that you can see the crack actually is propagating if you do only till 1000 thermodynamic steps it might not uh, move ahead that much but you need to do like much more number of uh, thermodynamic steps to see like how the crack is being stressed or strained and how the crack propagates under the stress and conditions so this is the video I want to do so thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any questions or comments please uh, ask below and if you like the content I am making please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button thank you